I have been a printmaker for nine years. I feel like there's so much to learn. Also really embraced my medium and I, I love it as much as the day I started. Amazingly, I was chosen to be the cover artist for Sierra Art Trails 2017, their 15 year anniversary. I'm greatly honored and I'm even more excited because I think printmaking to represent Sierra Art Trails is just an amazing thing. It's a, it's a, it's a big opportunity for printmaking. It's been around forever. It's, it's a thousand plus year old art. When people ask me, uh, what is your medium, and I say printmaking, oftentimes they're really puzzled. They're like, well, so you're a digital artist, you push the button and it comes out, you're a printmaker. That's not quite how it works. Um, it's a um, hands-on medium. It uh, almost involves every sense. It, basically, you're carving a, a matrix. You're laying ink over the matrix for relief printmaking you're laying paper over the inked matrix and you're running it through a press or hand rubbing the, the ink onto the paper and then lifting the paper up and then you have the image that you've carved out and the ink has rested on top of the matrix. You've got this image. So this one, for instance, is, I believe this is the 11th pass. It's um, way more than 15 colors at this point because I did multiple colors in each pass. Um, there's several, rain you call them rainbow rolls, um, gradations from top to bottom and bottom to top, and um, there's, a, there's a lot of tricks in this guy. So um, it's an exciting medium, a lot of, a lot of experimenting, um, there's a lot of different things you can do. I used masks, I used um, I all sorts of little kind of tricks to, to make the, um, the depth in the print kind of come out. This is my first year participating in Sierra Art Trails as an actual artist. I've been involved with Art Trails for about 15 years, but this is my first opportunity to show my work. Um, I have my origins in graphic design and illustration. I started back in the 1980s. And then about 20 years ago, I had a little life change and changed my vocation. I went back to school, got a master's degree in oriental medicine, became an acupuncturist and Chinese herbalist. And as I changed, my artwork changed. And my block prints reflect the fact that I work with both humans and animals and herbal medicine, and I combine my love of graphic design with my imagery. So this is what I'm involved with now. And as we change as people, so does our art change. My block printing is a little bit different than your typical linoleum block prints. I use a softer, almost pencil eraser-like rubber material. It allows me to get a little more sweeping curves and arcs. I really enjoy working with positive and negative space. Uh, that goes back to my graphic design background. Um, what I like to do is you know, pick up some old illustrations of crit critters and animals and then incorporate them, kind of flatten them out, make them a little more graphic. You know, I jokingly say we have talent under every rock, and really, it's true. We have a plethora of amazing artists up here in the Sierras, and we're all coming together on the September 29th and 30th and October 1st for that weekend. But come join us. There's over 100 artists for you to visit.